Hi, I'm Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. I'm also the podcast host of Invest in Her and an award-winning producer, author, and TEDx speaker. Our show, Invest in Her, features phenomenal female founders and funders. As you know, women receive less than 2% of venture capital funding. Our series is about accelerating the funding of women by connecting them to funding resources. Let's meet today's guest. Welcome to this week's edition of Invest in Her. I'm your host, Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors. And today I'm super excited to talk about SPVs. What are they? Special purpose vehicles. But what does that mean? We're going to learn today from one of the people at Sidecar. She's a director of revenues. I'd like to welcome to the show, Haley Kaplan Allen. How are you? Great. Glad to be here. Like I was just saying, it's been a long time coming. So I'm excited to be having this conversation. Me too. And Hallie, you know, I think a lot of people hear that term SPV, but they don't know what it means. Uh, So I really want to break it down today. I know that's what Sidecar is all about. Uh, You're looking to bring in investors. You're looking to bring in fund managers that want to set up their funds. And with more and more women starting their own funds, I'm super excited to talk about this because I imagine that there's people out there thinking, I'd like to set up a fund, but I don't know quite how to start it. Well, that's where Sidecar comes in, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, we uh, really, I mean, you know, this concept of of a venture fund or being a venture capitalist, I think is pretty opaque and uh, probably intimidating, if not alienating for a lot of people to understand. And our entire purpose or reason for being is really about making investing approachable and accessible for people who maybe never have aspirations of becoming a full-time venture capitalist. I don't even use that word because I think it's, like I said, a little bit alienating. But um, if you ask someone, you know, who's, who's a bit along in their career, has been around the tech industry, um, and who has met incredible founders and entrepreneurs, if if they want to support those founders and entrepreneurs, um, most people would probably say yes. And when you get into the details of the financial opportunity that comes from investing into startups, um, it's just super important that people understand the level of return and, and really generational wealth that can be accumulated through investing in startups in addition to all of the other things, the relationships and the education you can get. So our goal is just to make that concept of investing into startups more approachable. And the way that we're doing it is through structuring investment vehicles. So SPVs and funds in a way that is tech forward, built around software, and just generally more intuitive and approachable than ever before. I think that's so cool. And I know you have a background in this, like you, your background is helping uh, entrepreneurs to scale. And so, you know, what a perfect person to team up with somebody with your type of background that's offering up this platform to help, you know, build it out. And, and, And so, you know, more and more women are starting their own funds, right? Just curious, like what percentage of your clientele that are working with Sidecar are women? It's a great question. And I wish I had the stats off the top of my head. Um, I would be lying if I said it was 50%. Um, You know, the industry is obviously both from the the startup and the venture side, largely male dominated. But what I am confident about is that our customer base is uh, largely has a larger representation of women than the industry overall, without question. And while some of those uh, efforts have been super purposeful in the in the people and the groups that we partner with and that we uh, kind of go out to to market for. It's also just a product of the fact that the way that we've built the company has been so accessible to people who aren't as familiar or ingrained in the industry, whether those people are women or people from non-traditional backgrounds, people from other minority groups, people who don't live in Silicon Valley or New York. Um, I personally am based in New Orleans. I've been here for 12 years and um, I didn't know anything about venture or investing until um, really fairly recently. And so our goal is to make tools and educational resources that that make all of this more accessible to people of any background. And like I said, I don't have the stats, but we have a lot of incredible female investors using our platform and we love all of them. 
I love that. And yeah, it's a growing uh, situation. I mean, this is why we just, you know, did a movie that we're coming out with called Show Her the Money. We want to encourage more women to think about uh, investing in venture capital. And so it's platforms like yours that make that possible. Um, and, and, and then many, many women want to start their own funds, which is very exciting. You know, we both know that venture capital funds started about 50 years ago, but women have only gotten into the game in really the last decade. And especially, I would say, even in the last year or two, there's been such an acceleration of more women starting their funds. So you're, I, I, I read about what you guys do, uh, Sidecar, and let's spell that for everybody because some people aren't watching. They're just listening. Uh, it is S-Y-D-E-C-A-R, Sidecar. And I love when a woman says, I want to start a fund, but I don't know where to start. They can go to Sidecar and you're such a good partner in it. You're like, take care of all the back end uh, and, and like whatever investments they want to do, whether it's uh, like you said, SPV or um, and we're going to talk about what that is um, or like a safe or a convertible note. You help them with that pa paperwork. You help them with their uh, accounting and filings so that they can focus on raising money. So you seem like such an ideal partner for someone that really wants to jump in and start a fund, right? That's the goal. Yeah. And we really do think of ourselves as partners um, in, in both the customers that we support and the other groups that we work with. Um, and, you know, one of the things that's become very clear to me in helping to build Sidecar over the past couple of years is that we can't go at that mission alone of increasing access. So we have a lot of amazing partners um, groups that are focused on education, on educating women specifically around using SPVs and investing together. Um, that's something that I found is, you know, disproportionately true of women is that they want to do things in community and, and investing is part of that. And so the way that an SPV can be used to invest as a community to make decisions around what companies are exciting and how to support those companies financially as a community is really compelling. And so we've been able to work with a lot of women who help us, um, you know, reach, reach those people who are just approaching investing, angel investing at, uh, for the first time and being able to invite someone to participate in an SPV alongside you is like the most empowering way to help them realize that anyone can be an investor. So I met you at a, a women's investor luncheon uh, where all these women are investors or wanting to be investors. Um, you had partnered up with, I think it was D Dream Ventures, and um, they put on this event where people could learn about a specific founder, this female founded company. And then I take it that there was a special purpose vehicle that they could, uh, the attendees could invest in to finance this female founded company. Is yep. that the way it worked? Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and the beauty of creating an SPV, which just to break it down is really just a, a company. It's actually an LLC that's formed for the sole purpose of aggregating money together from a bunch of different people to then invest into a startup. And the reason why that structure is so important is because typically when you're investing into a startup, you have to invest a, a certain minimum or above a certain minimum to actually have the opportunity to, to buy equity in that startup. And the minimum kind of range was depending on the company and their stage and their preferences. But typically what you see is that a founder isn't going to want to take a direct investment or check into their company that's under, say, $25,000, maybe $10,000, but um, sometimes even a higher threshold than that. And you know that's a huge amount of money for one person to fork over, um, especially when you consider the fact that, you know, we're talking about women who may be making less than men on average. And so often when you hear, you know, that's, that's going to be the minimum, it's 25, it's 50, it's a hundred K to get into this company, because if a founder is, is accepting checks that are lower than that, that are 10, five, $1,000 directly, that means that founder is having to exchange money, exchange paperwork that indicates that someone is buying equity in their company with so many different individual stakeholders. And that can create a huge mess for them operationally, financially. It means they're paying their lawyers to go back and forth with all of these individual investors. I mean, if you, if you talk to a startup lawyer and say, I want to 
um, you know, I'm a founder and I want to take this person's $1,000 check or $5,000 check into my company, they're going to laugh at you and say, you know, I'm going to charge you more to put together the paperwork and it's not mm -hmm. even going to be worth it. So the reason why a special purpose vehicle is so valuable is because you can take those smaller check sizes starting literally from $1,000 and aggregate them and kind of have this supercharged single check that maybe comes from 10, 20, 50 different individual investors. They're all pooling their money together in an LLC that's formed, like I said, for the sole purpose of making that investment um, that, that's put together into a bank account, aggregated, and maybe that you know, a thousand, ten thousand dollar checks, all of those get aggregated to a total of a hundred thousand dollars. And that a hundred thousand dollars then gets invested into the company. It's a single transaction. It represents a single line item on that company's cap table. And the benefit of that for the founder is that they're only having to deal with a single point of contact and only make a single transaction, which saves them a lot of money um, on legal fees and and specifically down the road when you think about you know, future um, stockholder votes, stockholder consents, uh, you know, conversion of equity, then you're then only having to go back to that single point of contact being the SPV lead and get paperwork signed to sign off on whatever that action is, rather than having to track down each of those, you know, small check investors. And who would handle that? So that's what you all do at Sidecar. You would handle that SPV and all of those uh, things that you just mentioned. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we handle truly end to end all in one uh, creation and management of an SPV. So it's setting up that entity, the LLC, setting up the bank account. Um, like you mentioned, we handle all of the paperwork. So we provide the agreements that each investor signs. We handle regulatory filings, tax, accounting, et cetera. So really all, all you as an investor, as a, a deal lead, uh, as we call it, an SPV lead has to think about is just kind of building relationships, fundraising from investors, and then building that relationship with the founder that you're investing in. I see. So it's a really a hybrid form of crowdfunding. Yeah. So it's um, it's not dissimilar from crowdfunding in that it gives you the ability to raise from a number of different individuals. Uh, the primary difference is actually the regulation, the SEC regulation that governs the type of fundraising. So Crowdfunding is actually a, um, a part of the SEC regulation called Regulation Crowdfunding or Reg CF, as it's often abbreviated. And under uh, crowdfunding, you can in, you can raise money as a company from investors, uh, from anyone, from literally anyone, regular people out in the world um, for very low amounts. Now, for what Sidecar supports, it's fundraising under what's called Regulation D, abbreviated to Reg D. And it limits you to fundraising only from what are called accredited investors. And that's a threshold that's defined by either making a certain amount of money per year, having a certain amount of wealth, or passing some cer certain certifications. Unfortunately, and this is an SEC regulation, as I said, uh, accredited investor laws are very strict. And so it's about 2% of the population that actually qualifies to be an accredited investor. And those regulations have loosened over time. I anticipate that they'll continue loosening, but current state sidecar only supports Reg D, so we can only um, support investments from accredited investors today. But the good news is, is that those accredited investors can come in at one thousand, five thousand, various right. uh, amounts that they couldn't always come in at others, and this also helps uh, fund managers to build their funds. Yep, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So um, we have a, a an SPV product and we have a fund product as well that um, it's been we've been a little under the radar with to date. But uh, what I can share is that what we've found is our customers who are managing SPVs who are, are finding individual companies to invest in one by one, they're starting to really build a track record of investment success with those investments. They're building their community. Um, you know, we have people who have built investor communities of hundreds of people all over the country, all over the world. And what they're finding is those people want to give them more money to invest into more companies. And rather than having to make those decisions one by one, say, OK, here's the company. Here's why we're investing in it. Here's how much I want to raise. We're finding that more and more of our customers have had so much success that they actually want to raise 
a larger pool of capital to invest in a larger number of startups. And they're coming to Sidecar and asking for that service or that product because they've enjoyed using our SPV product so much. It's really abstracted away a lot of the complexity of managing investments. And so they're saying, we want the same kind of ease of investment, but for a larger amount of capital. And we want to really have the tools to grow our investment business, grow our investor community all on the Sidecar platform. And so we started to build out a couple of different product lines to support that and support people who are investing and raising full funds. That's really cool. That's great. So they could use you for either uh, to raise an SPV for a specific investment into a company uh, with multiple investors in that, or um, now you have new products coming along where you can help them raise an actual fund where many different investors pool their money, but not knowing exactly what company it'll go in because that fund manager will determine how that money is allocated into multiple companies. Yeah, That's really great. Exactly right. And and one of our big focuses with that fund product is being able to support funds of a variety of sizes without ridiculous legal fees. So prior to Sidecar, a lot of the options for creating an SPV cost so much so that it didn't make sense to do an SPV that was under maybe, you know, $200,000. And what we found was that our customers had opportunities to invest in companies very early on or if these were investors who were kind of just starting out and maybe they only wanted to invest 50 or $100,000, but they couldn't do that because the fees didn't make sense. And so what we've done is set up our fees to really accommodate those smaller SPVs. And in the same vein, we're doing that on the fund side. So our, our fees are pricing to support venture funds, start low enough that we've been able to support venture funds of one or $2 million dollars all the way up to 70 plus million dollars, but really wanting to provide a solution that scales to allow the people who are earlier in their journey to launch funds that are on the smaller side. And I love that because if someone wants to start a fund, which is no easy thing, uh, but they do need to focus on uh, actually bringing in the investors, bringing in the funds and scrutinizing who they're going to invest in. So I love that you all offer that back end to help them with all of that legal and accounting and paperwork uh, to take that off their plate. I think it's amazing. So happy to have you on today. Uh, How do people reach Sidecar and learn more about it? Yeah, absolutely. We have a website. So Sidecar, as you mentioned, S-Y-D-E-C-A-R dot I-O. um, And there are a ton of resources there. So even if you're really early in your journey of exploring investing, We have a blog, we have a help center with a lot of educational resources that will teach you about SPVs and funds that will highlight some of our incredible female customers as well as our male customers. Um, And of course, there's there's a way to to schedule a demo with our team there as well. Um, And then of course, Sidecar is on Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, I'm also on Twitter and LinkedIn. So it's Hallie Kaplan Allen. I'm sure it'll be in the show notes. It's a long name, so I won't try and spell it for you, but I'm always happy to connect with female investors who are just starting out or exploring, launching a fund, and just even have an informational conversation if it's helpful. Great, Hallie. Thank you so much. And uh, everyone, be sure to reach out and check out Sidecar. It really is unique. Whether you're an investor or someone starting a fund or even a founder, uh, all reasons to go visit them or look them up on social. Of course, you can also find me, Catherine Gray, on LinkedIn. Uh, I also have a course called uh, Six Ways to Fund Your Business on our She Angel Investors site uh, because people need to understand all the various ways that you can fund your company. And uh, we have a movie coming out called Show Her the Money. We're encouraging more women to get into the investment world of angel investing and venture capital. Uh, So, so grateful for companies like Sidecar that make it possible for you to come in it uh, really low levels that you can, you know, dip your toe in the water. So look us up at sheangelinvestors.com. We're also on social media. And thank you, Haley, for Hallie, Hallie, for being with me today. Really appreciate it and uh, appreciate what Sidecar is doing to make things more navigatable in the venture capital world. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Hallie. And make it a great day, everybody. And remember to invest in her.